First, it was Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Now, it's Cheteshwar Pujara and Ajinkya Rahane as well. Virat Kohli's off-field behavior is making his career on-field stand in jeopardy, and his team members are no longer willing to give him a long rope. Now, they are beginning to convey their concerns and woes to the BCCI. The BCCI, in any case, is not a big fan of Kohli, so the skipper is now staring at an imminent downfall from here on. Hi and welcome. You are watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Siddharth, and in this video, I will tell you how Rahane and Pujara's call to the BCCI led to Kohli's resignation. It took one disclosure to open a can of worms that the Indian skipper Virat Kohli would rather want hidden. This is what happens across fields and through various. Ages. When things get unbearable, someone must take the onus of setting the record straight and taking the matters into their own logical end. Ravi Chandran Ashwin's reported complaint to BCCI Secretary Jay Shah regarding Virat Kohli's behavior and captaincy, a large divide is now emerging from within Team India. TFI had reported recently how Team India seems to be revolting against their captain Virat Kohli. Now, two more players are said to have approached the BCCI against Kohli, and things only get worse for the skipper from here on. Cheteshwar Pujara and Ajinkya Rahane are unhappy with Virat Kohli's captaincy following the loss in the World Test Championship final against New Zealand. According to a recent report by the New Indian Express, both the senior batsmen were pulled up by Kohli in the dressing room. Pujara scored 8 of 54 balls in the first innings and managed to score only 15 runs of 80 balls in the second, while Rahane fared better, scoring 49 in the first and added 15 of 40 in the second innings. Pujara and Rahane, after the World Test Championship final, had approached the BCCI Secretary Jay Shah to discuss Virat Kohli's captaincy, particularly off-field. The New Indian Express report said, while the team took a two-week break after the final, it is reliably learnt that the two batsmen dialed the secretary personally, following which the BCCI seems to have stepped in. The phone calls were not taken lightly by the BCCI. After receiving complaints from three senior players of the Indian team, BCCI began a process of seeking feedback from a few other players and decided to act at the end of the tour. Now, while Kohli attributed workload management as a reason to step aside as the T20 captain, it is learnt that the BCCI will now decide on his 50-over captaincy. And that will happen after the T20 World Cup. Now, IANS emphatically reported that if sources are to be believed, the revolt against Virat started within the team a few months ago. It has come to light that several senior players in the dressing room were miffed at the attitude of the ace batsman. Things have gone as far as a senior player of the team complaining to the BCCI secretary against Virat for making him feel insecure. Virat had reportedly accused the senior cricketer of showing no intent during the World Test Championship final against New Zealand. IANS had reported senior off-spinner Ravi Chandran Ashwin is one of the mutineers against Virat Kohli. During the tour of England, Virat's insistence of not including Ashwin in the playing 11, despite advice of experts, has worsened the woes for the captain. Furthermore, Virat Kohli wanted the inclusion of Yuzvendra Chahal in the T20 team instead of Ashwin. However, the BCCI sternly included Ashwin in the team, and this has only led to the widening of fault lines between Kohli and the cricket board. Additionally, the BCCI's appointment of Mahindra Singh Dhoni as a mentor for the T20 World Cup team came as a surprise for Kohli and is a clear attempt by the cricket board to rein in the captain's authority. Interestingly, Kohli's performance and ability to serve as a captain has come under scrutiny within the BCCI after this very championship. Needless to say, whoever the senior player was, his complaint has definitely put the BCCI and his top officials on alert in a meeting held by the BCCI office bearers in July after the World Test Championship final, it emerged that a lot of them are unsatisfied with Virat's captaincy. BCCI President Saurav Ganguly, Vice President Rajiv Shukla, Secretary Jay Shah and the Treasurer Arun Dhumal were all part of the meeting. For team players to turn against a captain is really a statement against Kohli's ability to lead the Indian team. Interestingly, after the complaints by at least three players to the BCCI against Kohli, the skipper has relinquished the captaincy of Royal Challengers Bangalore and the World T20 format. Given the chatter of BCCI closing in on Kohli's captaincy across all formats, it seems Kohli wanted to convey that the decision to give up the captaincy was by his own accord and that the BCCI played no role in it whatsoever. However, the reality seems quite contradicting. 